When we think of 50 cents power, the first characters that stick out are Ghost, Tommy, and now Tariq. We commend Ghost for his sharp business skills. We clap and sometimes clamor for Tommy for his ruthless business skills. Hell, we even applaud Tariq for being just like his father, even though he tries his hardest to prove he's not. But what if I told you there's a character who's a real business person that most don't pay attention to? This is the underdog story of Tasha St. Patrick and how she survived and thrived in a competitive and dangerous industry despite her husband going against her. Out a go. Power is a popular crime drama series that follows the lives of James St. Patrick Ghost and his family and associates. This includes Tommy Egan, who's his best friend and partner in crime. Tommy is loyal, impulsive, and ruthless, and he handles the street operations of their underworld business. He has a complicated relationship with Ghost as they often clash over their different visions and methods. Then we have Kanan Stark, who's Ghost's former mentor and rival. He is cold-blooded and manipulative, and he was imprisoned for a decade after being set up by Ghost and Tommy. He now seeks revenge on them and tries to reclaim his territory and influence. We have Angela Valdez, who's Ghost's first love and love interest. She is smart and ambitious, and she's an assistant U.S. attorney who is assigned to investigate and prosecute the underworld organization led by Ghost and Tommy. However, she's unaware of Ghost's true identity and rekindles their romance, putting her career and her life at risk. We have Tarek St. Patrick, who's Ghost's son. He is a rebellious and troubled teenager who resents his father's um, lifestyle originally. Then finally, we have Tasha St. Patrick, who's ghost wife and the mother of his three children. She's surly and resilient, and she's a businesswoman who adapts to various challenges and opportunities. Tasha is often overlooked or underestimated by others. But throughout the series, she proves to be a savvy and resilient businesswoman who adopts to various challenges and opportunities. So here are five business lessons that we can learn from Tasha St. Patrick. Tasha has a clear vision and goal for her life and her business. When we met, what did you think I was going to be? Hmm? The biggest goddamn drug dealer in New York City. She wants to build a successful and sustainable empire that can provide for her and her family. She also wants to leave a legacy and pass on the business to her son. She is determined and focused on achieving this vision and goal and does not let anything or anyone distract or stop her. However, just having a vision and goal for your business is not enough. This is why we must look at number two of our lessons. Tasha is well versed in the underground business and she knows how to cater to different segments of the market. She understands the needs and preferences of her customers, whether they are high-end clients or the places that she goes with goes when they're about to meet them, she's dressed, she's calm, or whether they are at the nightclub, she knows how to deal with people over there, or whether it's on the street level, she also knows how to deal with people over there. She dresses for the occasion. If you notice, Tasha will adapt her dressing and her mannerisms depending on wherever she is alone or with ghosts. She also knows how to leverage her network and connections and expand her customer base. So for example, she partnered with Kanan, like the old friend and rival of Ghost. She partnered with him to launch a new product line that appeals to the younger generation. Which now leads us to number three. Tasha knows the importance of having a reliable and trustworthy team to support her business. She is loyal to her team members and she treats them according to how she wants them to be or what she wants them to do. She also recognizes their strengths and weaknesses and assigns roles to them accordingly. Tasha's very smart. She reads people. 
That's why she was able to recruit Lakeisha, her best friend, to help her run her hair salon and, you know, move the money in there. And that's why she also was adamant on mentoring Tariq, her son, to teach him the ropes of the business when she noticed how alike he is with his father. However, when it comes to business, certain things are out of your control. You can plan, you can have a vision, you can know the market, you can build a loyal and competent team, but there are some things that you must have as part of your business plan, which takes us to number four. Tasha is aware of the risks and challenges that come with running their type of business. This is why she's always prepared for the worst case scenario. The only time that she was caught off guard was with Angela Bades. But other than that, Tasha always has a contingency plan in place. She knows how to deal with crises. She knows how to deal with emergencies. She gets ready. She stays prepared and gets ready for things that will come ahead. For example, she did hire Terry Silva to defend her and goals when they were arrested for taking out Greg North. Tasha stays ready and she knows exactly what to do when those things come in. And then the final business lesson is this. Tasha is not afraid to change her plans and strategies when the situation calls for it. She can adapt and change so willingly and also she stays flexible. She acquired new knowledge to stay ahead of the game. That's the reason why she was responsible for moving the money around because she enrolled in a business course to learn about all of that. She's always flexible. She's always adaptable. She will know that, okay, this situation requires me to be this way, then I need to step in. If the situation requires her to do something out of her character, she does, like what exactly she did with Nakisha. Whatever the situation requires of Tasha, she will do. Same thing with what happened with Ghost, and then she stepped in for Tariq. Tasha will always step in. What do you guys think? What do you think? Am I accurate in my depiction of Tasha? And oh, have you been watching the sequel, like Power Book 2, the one with Tariq? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let's move this power conversation in the comment section. Let me know how you guys feel.